Hello out there in cryptocurrency land. Welcome back to Real Crypto, where we take the markets one leg at a time while keeping the market cycle in mind. And let's start talking about Bitcoin, which today is having a pretty bad day. One of the worst days it's had in quite a while, probably since looks like August 2nd, going on about over 20 days here, almost three weeks. Um, so this actually puts Bitcoin with three distribution days. At the, in the Real Crypto Power Hour, we follow a distribution day model, the BTC and we're seeing a third distribution day today four and we will go back into a correction so if the day closes today um, like this then we will definitely have a distribution day on our hands so which isn't the end of the world but at the same time it's definitely hard to see bitcoin sell off a little bit i know some people have been trapped at higher levels uh, fortunately in the power hour we've been discussing lightning loads having more patience as the market kind of settles itself out i mean as you guys know the market's been on, been on a substantial run for the past couple of months, not even necessarily in Bitcoin, although, you know, Bitcoin since the March lows here after capitulation has been in a very, very large uptrend. And hopefully today is just a kind of a scare day in what should be a continuation of the trend in the longer term. Now, when you take a look at Ethereum and some of the other altcoins, Ethereum with a very, very big run from about the 240, 245 area on up where it is to, to 377 still looks excellent but putting in a topping pattern looking like it could potentially roll over. And then other ones such as Link, which from its $5 kind of all-time high breakout, running all the way up to $20, finally pulling back in a much larger consolidation. And that's what we're looking at over here in the power hours. We're looking for things to consolidate, and we're going to look for some potential lower risk entry points. We're going to be looking for some breakout entries once those begin to set up and we're going to look for a change in market behavior like we saw about a week or so ago you know give or take each coin tends to move on its own time frame so it isn't necessarily the whole market just rolls over at once sometimes that happens but in this circumstance it was a little bit more nuanced some things worked some didn't cardano which has been in just a spectacular run since straight almost straight away since the capitulation we had a very very strong buy signal here at about the three cent level coming up to 14 cents where we've been discussing uh distributing cardano and now it's kind of on the way down again we've we've kind of we've been talking about actually shorting it since about the 13 cent level now down at just about 11 cents so even th even that doing relatively well although we don't do a lot of shorting unless the market's really bearish but cardano's uptrend has just been so non-stop that eventually it has to end i was pretty much likening it to this run right here you know we ran up really big and then it ends and then the move just meanders lower for a longer period of time so it's hard to say from this stage exactly how the market is going to go leg for leg but like i say in the opening of the videos one leg at a time with the market cycle in mind and the larger market cycle here on bitcoin oh my goodness i have a lot of lines there the market cycle here on Bitcoin is we've broken a long-term trend line from 20,000 down through 14,000. And you can see we're still above that trend line today, stuck in larger consolidations. And um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely some ranges. I think the $10,400 level for a shorter term support is very, very likely. If you extend that trend line back, there's that $10,400. Some people say 10,400, I've been saying, or 10,500, I've been saying 10,400. So, I mean, really, the move up here has been uh, really good, but not very expansive. And that, and obviously, with the altcoins really taking leadership in the past couple of months, Bitcoin has been languishing. We were wondering if it was going to be a Bitcoin only rally or if it was going to be an altcoin only, ra only rally or if they both were going to rally. Turned out we got a little bit of both. The Bitcoin rallied a little bit. Not a tremendous amount, though. We really, really had had a great time in the alt. So from here on out, I think we're going to go into really a choppy area where we're going to be doing a lot more consolidating. We're going to be doing a lot of base building. And depending on the name, especially in the top 20, um, really depending on the name, it's it, it could take a while for it to consolidate. But in reality, these are, these are some of the best times in the market, in my opinion. Um, you know, you're not really stressed out. Ideally, you're in a large cash position because after, you know, like Link with a 400% move right there, obviously it's going to consolidate some. And so, you know, it's you're really in a place now where you can have some patience. Um, you know, we had a sell signal on Link about a week and a half ago, kind of as it failed out of the space here. And it's the market's been going like that, like that lately for us. We've been setting up alerts. 
Uh, a few have worked. Many more have been failing than were than were failing many weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, we, we couldn't hit a loser. I mean, everything was just popping off. Now things have changed a little bit. I call that I call that a change in behavior. And when you see a change in behavior, especially to the downside, you really want to not be invested as much. And so that's really what we're looking at here is uh, to kind of you know taking a step back, seeing what coins are setting up, which ones are looking the best. Do we have volume support? You know, we're going to be looking for a lot of the things that we normally look for during this time. This is probably our, I don't know, 10, 12th time in this kind of a topping environment in the power hour. And so, you know, we're, we kind of have it down to a science right now, what we're looking for. And um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much what we're doing. That's pretty much what we're doing. And uh, it was a great run. Uh, it's over for now. We could easily bounce back, but it, it definitely appears that we do have a little bit more. So Ethereum, for instance, has a head and shoulders potentially breaking down here today. You can see at the neckline, if you guys aren't familiar with the head and shoulders pattern, this is a reversal pattern where you have a high with pretty high volume as, as they sell off and it makes another high on lower volume. And then you make a third high, albeit a lower high, also on lower volume, essentially indicating that buying pressure has dried up. And part of the head and shoulders pattern is the neckline which is the low point between the shoulder and the head on each side. So this point right here, actually Ethereum has many, many, many potential points. You take this point, this point, this point, they all are essentially the same line on through this point right here, which is the second point for your trend line. And then you can see we just broke it here. At this stage of the game, there's a little bit of infighting. We'll probably see some type of a, a test of this trend line, we're pretty much already, almost already there, and then probably a failure from there. We've already seen such failure points in a number of coins already, so I really wouldn't be too surprised if Ethereum failed on that, and that really would be a, a pretty good shorting opportunity if you were looking to short in this environment. Now, if things go stagnant and then turn around, then shorting probably not gonna be the best thing, and maybe we'll move into more of a sideways market, but really at this point in time, uh, we have to see we have to see how this kind of early selling goes. Um, you know, we, like I said, we've done this a lot of times already, and we look for the selling behavior. We look to see is it sideways? Is it very dramatic? Is it, where is the volume stepping in? There's there's quite a few things involved, but at the end of the day, you're, you're trying to get a picture for whether things are really wanting to sell off or just looking like they want to sell off, and that's the main difference, I think. And one of the main differences, I think, between uh, your very amateur trader and and your more experienced and or professional trader is the ability to kind of notice the difference there because sometimes it's really difficult and it, it can even catch the best of us off guard from time to time i don't know any trader globally that hasn't said oh yeah that caught me by surprise it happens to all of us but um, all we can do is do our homework and prepare for the next cycle and right now guys it appears that that it's homework time. It's actually been homework time for, for a little bit, not too long, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you do like the content, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. And if, if you want a little bit more in-depth analysis, uh, you can go ahead and, and uh, join our ever so growing Real Crypto Power Hour. You can go ahead and move over to services and you can sign up on the services page right here for the Power Hour. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time.